Okay, let's do this. So having looked at this big question of what is Southeast Asia and having gained a kind of sense of what Southeast Asia was like during the early modern period, what I want to do now is to go a little bit deeper and to look at individual areas in the region to try to get a sense of what they were like uh, right as we're heading into the 19th century. So we're going to look at things before the 19th century as a way to kind of set a foundation for looking at the history of the region from the 19th century onward, for looking at modern history. The place I want to start with all of this is a place known as the Malay world. Um, in Southeast Asia today, there's of course a place called Malaysia, a country right in the middle of the region, and the main ethnic group in that country is, surprise, surprise, the Malays. Um, that said, Malaysia is not the only place where you have Malay peoples living. Um, there are other places where uh, you find Malay communities, like in Brunei and in um, southern Thailand. Historically, though, there were Malay people, uh, people, people, there, there were Malay peoples in other areas as well, such as um, along the eastern coast of Sumatra. So, if you're going to look at a map historically, you'd find Malay peoples living on along the coast of the Malay Peninsula, both coasts of the Malay Peninsula stretching all the way up to what is today southern Thailand and all the way down to the bottom of the peninsula where Singapore is, the eastern coast of Sumatra, along the eastern coast of um, Sumatra, the western coast of Borneo, and then finally there were Malay communities on the western coast of the island of Borneo and you know other islands in the region as well. So you can see it all on the map. Maps over here, <laughs> I tricked you. Uh, you can see it on the map here. This area that's connecting all of these places, that is the area that historians refer to as the Malay world, an important world of, of shared communities and, and interactions. So you have Malays obviously living in the Malay world, but what makes a Malay a Malay? Language is obviously one key element. There is a language called Malay, that is an Austronesian language, one of those languages that's part of that huge language family of languages that stretches all the way from Madagascar to Rapa Nui. Uh, Malay is a rather late addition to that language family. Um, I don't know when we can trace its origins, over, certainly over, say, let's say 1500 years. Uh, but that would still just make it a linguistic baby in the big picture of things. But it, it is an Austronesian language and um, we find evidence of its use, you know, going back over a thousand years. Uh, so the Malay language is one element that's really important for Malayness or identity. Another key element is Islam. But if we were to go back in time, say over a thousand years, we'd find the early Malay communities following certain Indic practices that we'd probably define as something like uh, Hindu Buddhist or something like that. Uh, but gradually over time, the various Malay speaking peoples converted to Islam. And today Islam is considered a central aspect of what it means to be Malay. So you've got uh, language, religion, then there are various customs that are shared by Malay communities. Um, adat is a term for custom, and there are ver various kind of customs that are shared. So if you look at these things, we got, what do we got? We got um, language, we got religion, we got customs. None of those are things that you're born with. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? It's all stuff that you can learn. And indeed, this is something that has happened historically. People who were not born in Malay, a Malay community, have learned Malay, have converted to Islam, have learned to follow the, the shared customs of that Malay, of a certain Malay community, and have become Malay. And indeed, there's even, there's a term for this, Masuk Malayu, to enter Malayness or Malaydom, whatever you want to think of it. 
Um, and it's a process that has happened historically and that is happening today as well, as people who are in contact with Malay communities adopt their language, convert to Islam, follow cultural practices, and become essentially um, Malay. So this is what the Malay world um, was or kind of still is. Um, but historically, there's something else that's been important for the Malay world, and that is a couple of kingdoms. Is it working now? Man, I swear, something really weird is going on today. Uh, it's like there's, there's like ghosts out here or something. Camera just died, but yes, there are two polities that are very important for the Malay kind of consciousness and identity. One is the earliest polity, um, that's the earliest known or considered Malay polity, and the other is one that's kind of seen to symbolize a kind of Malay golden age in the past. And we're gonna look at both of those two polities um, in the next video.